We've come to another excavating hole. Why is it so hard for me to say? <laughs> and now we have, we're gonna have a little picnic with a beautiful view. Your cheese. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, oh yeah, cool. I was like, where's the peanut butter, but it's there. So we have peanut butter and crackers and honey. Which butter is this? Cause like they're all different too. This one is chocolate and hazelnut. <gasps> Freeze? Mm -hmm. And it might be that the other side is better. Do we need to like work out? No, I think we're on the side that's not demolished. Oily butter as well. 100% peanut butter. And palm oil. And it's not 100%, is it? I'll be honest, if you take out the emergency sleeping bag out of my thing, it basically just looks like a rape kit. <laughs> <laughs> Duct tape, zip ties, and Noel asked me to try some bondage. I worked out she meant fluffy handcuffs, not zip ties. <laughs> Eventually she shut up about it. Once I used the duct tape. <laughs> People are just gonna think you're creeping. <laughs> well. Hashtag joke. <laughs> know how I drink things. Yeah. <laughs> Slowly and not to completion. Yeah. You're not gonna bury the trash though, right? Nope. Okay. Nice. We know that there is different ages and different civilizations, so. Bye, Pyramid. It was nice to meet you. <laughs> Integrity Farms. <laughs> Golly, this is nice. Like, you can't get how cool this is from the camera. And I was thinking about bringing the work camera, but no. I thought about it too, but it's like <laughs> no. big and... Yeah, um, worth a lot of money. Like, yeah, I thought about it and like, thought about asking you now. I, I give it some thought. But then like these new cell phones, okay, you can't grasp like the grandeur of it all, but you can grasp enough at least. I could shoot a porno if I had to. I just can't record rocks the way I want to. <laughs> Oh, look, it's a slide. It seems like there's like a lot of these that like go down the hill that are just like waterways yeah, from. Yeah, waterways. But actually, maybe not actually because then it would be more eroded, a waterway. Oh. I think. And that doesn't look eroded at all. It's, I think maybe it was the first track up here. People came up here this way and then built the steps. I think it maybe is a path. I don't know. I think water will go down it, but it would be more eroded for sure, you know. It was kind of nice though that like we didn't see anybody like until now yeah. like we didn't see anyone the whole time okay. so it's kind of nice to come here off season and to get the whole experience
I meditated. You should, you could have said, been quiet for a minute. No, but you were quiet. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you don't meditate? Well, I was quiet and I looked at things. <laughs> don't you meditate though? Uh, it, it stresses me out. Then you're not doing it right. Right. And me not doing it right stresses me out. <laughs> okay, we'll talk about this in the car. <laughs> like, it's like saying, it's like, uh, don't think of an elephant. What did you think of? Not an elephant. You told me not to. I don't think my eyes are ever going to come back from this world. <laughs> you told me not to. My mind said, okay. <laughs> Oh, everybody's calling him a crackpot now. All the people. All the people who... But he's not. I love him. And if you went to another side of, of, of it, how would it look? Mostly just uh, so forest? There, were, there are blocks on all four sizes. There are different layers. Uh -huh. They are constructed in the river sand pebble clay material on the upper side. And here is from the sandstone, sandstone uh -huh. material. Uh -huh. From the tunnel that is about three kilometers away from here is also approachable point in the future where we will, uh, went inside the structure. So yeah. it's a coverage with the minimum, uh, the same volume of the materials as the one over here. So it's a, actually a very huge complex. And you, well, I'm hope that people are hoping that they'll be able to, to really well, get inside. Well, we have volunteer actions every single summer. Even though there was a coronavirus pandemic in 2020, uh -huh. there are a lot of applicants from different parts of the world. And Dr. Sarah, uh, uh, giving that as a chance to the volunteers to mm -hmm. excavate because the foundation is not a state project. It's something that can, can right. be individually right. uh, described as a ungovernmental or MDO. Yeah. Uh -huh. And is the pyramid built upon a hill? A hill? As, uh, actually, as not to... so much because there's a four sizes of these concretes and there are chambers and rooms deeper down below the concretes. About seven levels of layers of these tunnels and mm -hmm. chambers exist inside the structure. So from the tunnel, you have to approach inside for another 10, 15 years by our calculation. Yeah. So we a project to the nearby future. So that's the reason they, uh, this is not an Egyptian pyramid. It doesn't have any uh, similarities from the grave or tomb. It's an energy machine based on our electromagnetic field research. And what mm -hmm. we did here as a foundation, this goes to be a very pure fictional concrete that can absorb the mineral, the structures of the streams below into upper, to, mm -hmm. to the upgrade mainstream or ultrasound of 28 kilometers. Mm -hmm. And and, this, uh, and the, uh, the sign said iron ore, right? And, and that's an iron plate stream. down so below. It's, it's an plate. electromagnetic field uh -huh. that can cut, uh, structurize the, uh, the mechanical wave uh, thanks to the quartz crystal and the ingredients inside the pyramid because there are holes inside that they're cycling going through. Mm -hmm. You could see that on polycontrast PIP technology, you have a vertical field above the pyramid that can be recorded by that camera. It was a patent from uh, Harry Oldfield. It was a the English biologist who came mm -hmm. here in Bosnia to research this part in several years back. Mm -hmm. what, I think he's dead. What do critics of the like the this narrative, let's say, what would their what would their criticisms be? That it's more modern. Or British or British and American. Well, from the United States, we, did, we had J. J. Hartek. This was a man from uh, who was the explorer of the pyramids, and this is his statement right across there. Mm -hmm. Dr. Van Vaard and Professor Zabrow said affirmatively that this could be a beginning of a very ancient but an uh, advanced culture that lived here in the Balkans. Mm -hmm. They called it affirmatively. The Egyptian experts were divided. The swelling mm -hmm. of the Mabel, the, the man mm -hmm. on the, uh, the yellow t shirt, mm -hmm. he said this is a huge complex, it's even bigger than the Cheops' pyramid. Mm -hmm. He was afraid, the, the Zaki Havas was afraid that this could change the roots of the. Mm -hmm. of the Egyptology so and then he decided to forbid this kind of uh, exampling mm -hmm. and even though the Bosnia National Museum was also skeptic because they say we don't have a pharaoh to have a pyramid so it was a but then they were never about the pharaohs they were just energy conductors yeah, essentially that's so right, that's right but still they have this kind of an old-fashioned school development that the Indiana Jones has to go inside the structure and all of this Hollywood thing that happened really affected the meaning of the people thinking it was just about the graves mm -hmm. and nothing else. The fields over here show us something very much different. Because, yeah, like I know like with the, the we have not a good understanding of the Egyptian pyramids and I feel like part of that would be due to a religious influence as well because if you have a religious influence you have timelines to adhere by. Mentioned Mexican, South American, the ones in China, Indonesia, they're all across the globe. Even in Cahokia National Park in Illinois, there was a pyramidal construction in the park. 
I don't know the name of the park. It's not like Yellowstone, but it is uh, a structure uh, pyramidal shape. It's a, a, a smaller than this one we have over here, but the Kahoki pyramids were mentioned by Dr. Smanagic when he visited the area. He lived in Houston before 25 years in the time of the war in the former Yugoslavia, and then he came back uh, when he founded the structure here. He used the compass, and then he founded this foundation after his returning from U.S. to, to his native country when he built this project. He's actually the owner of one of the construction companies in Houston, with his son, the actual chairman. He used to live in the United States for more than two decades. And then he visited uh, the pyramids across the globe in Mexico, South America, and China. As I mentioned, he writes books about it. And this is how he got into that the whole theory about the pyramids, because he had a lot more questions that nobody uh, uh, understood or solved in the Egyptology. <coughs> Can I ask a like a personal question and don't answer anything you're going to be uncomfortable with? But I feel like uh, like they're yeah, out here. Glad that somebody that, that can speak somebody on this native English because when I talk to Turks or Czechs, I have to go slow and it makes me mad. <laughs> I can't even spell a word out of it. They don't understand English. <laughs> well, we'll speak as quickly as we can. <laughs> uh, because you're native speaker and you're Australian and Canadian. Yeah. Uh, the question was sorry. Um. Uh, I feel like p like part of the reason that like this was discovered and part of the reason that I'm reading all of these words that are written here is due to like a paganistic uh, past of this place because like oh, paganism is older it predates religion so then having an open-minded connection to nature with something well, from the Adam's time it actually as they said monotheistic religions because the devil wanted people to worship the idols not the God and this is how the all stories from Noah started, and this is what happened thousands of years before. But you're right; actually, the paganism is before was because that's what helps you understand energy. Because if you are religious in any way, then you're going to think that it was due to God, or is due to a pharaoh, or is due to a ruling well, class in of sorts. Way, the energy is a thing that we don't learn actually in school. The physics are going forward in the quantum way, and what we uh, what we mostly learn is the materialistical world that we spent. Uh, reading the books of Darwin, or I mean, both of the parts needs to be considered. I mean, mm. he died; he never found that missing link between the Neanderthal and the Mayan. <laughs> we, we know the out of Africa theories. Uh. <laughs> and that's the reason we have to believe, and not that just to believe. We have to open the mind that was thousands of years older, not just five or seven thousand years, as we learned in school. Because you seem to be like an orphan who has a, has to have a mom to take care of you because you're too young to think on your own way. Mm -hmm. To consider the fact that we had thousands of years of the time as a humankind present here, even if, if it were bigger or smaller. There are places in the United States, there are giant bones. I used to watch, Omega Fox used to be our archaeologist in those <laughs> shows of hers, and then she went to Tennessee, and a guy told that it was about uh, a giant part of bones found in some kind of a space that related to the uh, to, uh, to the people's kind. Nothing compares to the ones we said. It was a primate, it was a huge giant, and then it actually, by the time the, 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 the time go, goes by, it, it, it goes it goes lower. In so Egypt... Some kind of an evolution, a real evolution, not this primate, mm -hmm. monkey ape. Yeah, yeah, no, in Egypt they found uh big structures full of bones as well and they discarded it just thinking they were animal bones and then they never did any testing on it and only later were they able to do testing on it and then they found out that there was like chimera animal bones in there and like they were mixed animal bones well, I'm not considering because uh, we all come from one of the most powerful countries in the world we thank you the I'm just kidding <laughs> well, Uh, uh. Uh, they keep kind of a structure right but telling the truth uh, uh, the world is not polarized we have to go back in the past because we'll find our origin all together we're not different just because we have a language or some kind of a skin difference uh, the ancestors of ours could be much more intelligent in the time before but they uh, the, the knowledge disappeared and there were a lot of other periods when the other primitives came and this is how we have this consciousness we've gone down yeah Jim would say subconscious minds mm -hmm. and in this case uh, the, the structure of these kinds and the world order of the pyramid not only pyramids megalithical structures stone spheres will practically show us the way to come back mm -hmm. to the real past to see the real origins and that's the reason 
uh, most of these uh, introductions can be skipped. Mm. You change the history in some way or another, and that's why uh, you said about these animal bones. One of the Arabian or uh, Ottomanian conquerors in uh, early Middle Ages who went inside the Cheops' pyramid in Egypt, found the seashells and some pieces of uh, salt water inside the, the concrete. Mm -hmm. Especially, it was surprised because there are no water, because there's uh, only a river Nile, mm -hmm. and it's a salt water coming from the Mediterranean Sea. It was actually a pile of catastrophe in that time. Who a great deluge, it, yeah. Retreated. Uh, unfortunately, after Napoleon came, after those uh, French, uh, as well as the, some of the British expertise telling that it could be a grave, they, they keep erasing those theories because they have to change every, every single time from the beginning. Eric von Däniken came much more longer, but they consider him as a pseudo scientific leader, telling that the aliens came from outer space, building the pyramids as their uh, as their centers of the uh, of the communication between the other uh, other universal, uh, uh, other planets and other universals. Yeah, what about the, you know the British um, expedition to the, to the the tomb of Tutankhamun? Like we we learned in school that there was like. We didn't learn that there was a curse, but it was said that there was a curse put on those people because they all died that quite thing. frequently that afterwards. Thing. And that gets me thinking when in what we're talking well, about now, me. were they killed? Well, but then if you think about it, there's healing resonances and then there's also bad well, for you resonances like, as well. It, to be honest to be said, I consider myself that this to the camon is like a puppet. Sometimes you, 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 you just a character that was you, placed. You, you bring him to Paris, then you bring him to New York, then you bring him over here. So it's like a baby. She's going all around. Yeah. Let the guy die in peace. He's like a puppet going one from, from yeah. one way to another. That's not a way to, to, to learn something about the past. Mm -hmm. So and in case these tombs are really artificial for the pyramids, somebody would find that that pharaoh in the chambers of the Cheopses, Kepra, Mikarnos, Joseph pyramids in the period in the ninth until the last century of these Egyptian pharaohs. Wow. The real truth is that they never found that the relation between the graves and the pyramids in the same room in the different location, they keep to have. They seems to have a lot of uh, unroted walls. It's mm -hmm. like going over here, but there's no scripture. Only the runic letter can be interesting for you in the tunnel. But I suggest you uh, you go there until four o'clock. It's fifteen to three. Till you enter there, there's another guy that can explain you everything, and that's about forty-five minutes of the visit. Oh, that'd be great. Nice one, buddy. That's really nice that you are. To Thank you for that. coming. North yeah, Dakota, like, as I remember, and yeah. English. Well, which part? Uh, I'm from the north, so almost Scotland. Oh, the Scouser part from Liverpool. Or <laughs> I used to live in Liverpool, but I'm from uh, near Newcastle. Well, I met some people when I was on uh, my school journey, when I was in high school in Spain, so pretty much of a football fan they are. I don't know. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, soccer Any excuse to drink. Hey, Any excuse to drink, drink and get rowdy. She talks about her husband, Krasinski. She's always <laughs> tender says when you look so American. Put that baseball cap outside. You don't, have, you don't blend with the people so you don't start yeah. talking like that. It's not soccer, it's football. Yeah, sometimes she stands it's out as an American, soccer. I think. It's I can soccer. anticipate your accent, but it's like an acting, <laughs> acting ability of mine. I have one more question. Uh, when was this... It's kind of hidden from ground level yeah. to some extent. When was it first seen to be... A pyramid. Well, in this case, Dr. Sam's, uh, Dr. Spanovich's investigation started in 2005 when he was driving from Sarajevo. He was publishing some kind of book about the world of Mayans. He was in yeah. Mexico. He yeah, yeah. Uh, spent a lot of his time in Tetihuacan, in Chichen Itza, in Palenque, in Choco Pueblo. Mm -hmm. And then when he came here, he was invited to a local museum in Visoko, which actually gave him some information about the uh, restorations of the Middle Age examples here. And he wasn't interested. Uh, in fact, he just wanted to please his his friends to come here to see. It. And when he drove through the town, or actually from the highway road, mm -hmm. he saw the shape, and he was surprised that the same volume of geometry he saw in the Mexican example, he took the compass, and then he exactly showed the orientation mm -hmm. sides to the north, south, east, and west, comparing to the ones they he found in other in other regions, in other countries. So he was surprised that this kind of hill, as they call it, was so perfectly matchable by geometry, mm -hmm. and then he decided to research on his own. Unfortunately, he was skept there was a lot of skepticism in the Bosnian uh, National Museum because of a lack of, I don't know, knowledge. We don't have an actual expert for the pyramids because in former Yugoslavia, 
there was a Hellenistic past and Roman that was mostly interesting because they considered that as the first period of time when the civilizations went to these areas. But most of the things says that there was a previous cultures that were mostly intellectual than the ones that inhabited the afterwards. And the cycle that ended 12,500 years ago was the reason that the whole landscape was uh, came here as a coverage to the pyramid itself. Mm -hmm. and because this was the last ice age period of time and then mm -hmm. the influence of that climate from the uh, seaside or from the panonical view mm -hmm. that is actually the northern part of Russia and Hungary uh, uh, sorry Serbia and Hungary and the Mediterranean from the Adriatic Sea coast of Croatia they flushed all of the valley or actually it was a huge windstorm that covered all of these sections in the previous millenniums and afterwards they just turned into hills. Same thing well because we know that there was multiple great deluges and that does take effect onto landscapes like this like even if you were to look on a satellite view on google at like north africa it even looks like it's all pushed in one direction i forgot to mention this uh we had onasa pilots from bosnia in mm -hmm. texas who recorded those sections you saw on the tables above mm -hmm. and those are one of the recordings we get, we had from this is from this houston uh Houston mm -hmm. and unfortunately it was not so much of a surprise but it can be seen that these triangles can be recorded by satellites or it can be seen it's not so much of a typical hill yeah something is strange mm -hmm. about these conditions especially the terrestrial view of the moon pyramid on the other yeah. side of the town but you don't have a guide up there so unfortunately so no plane or helicopter went over here before 2005 because it, it's quite apparent from an aerial well, view right uh, to explain furtively yeah but you have to come from a certain kind of understanding in your mind to be able to well, even discover things yeah, like yeah, that that's a good question but i was not sure because i was little in the time when all of the war started we were kids here mm -hmm. and uh in a couple of years ago there was an austrian a former soldier of the peace missions here not un but SP, mm -hmm. spor and uh he had he was like um uh, uh coming back because he was during the war here uh one of the uh one of the soldiers in this un pro four uh, troops uh he told me a story when he came here as a tourist years after that in these regiments there were people saying that this is a pyramid in bosnia in 1995 or 1996 right after the war was finished mm -hmm. they just took the bags out and then they came back in the other direction another part of, of the planet where they had to go but that was also the interesting story they were out of predicaments but there were no archaeological excavations and mm -hmm. no proofs that we have some kind of source right here so it could be a prejudgment but before dr sam before dr osmanagic's intentions here there were no other activities but, uh, neither because it's as I said, untypical to find the pyramid in the Balkan area. But then I'm also of an alternative understanding, like I believe in a very alternative version well, of history. Uh, Akasha is the way they read. I think there is also a book from Dr. Where Dr. Sam interviewed these Akasha records uh, members. And then I also said when they come spiritually back in the time, somebody did intellectually put it, the pyramid here because of the song works. I understand that's your way of view, Ben. That's the... Uh, that could be one of the conditions. We have to go further, as I said, so it's mm -hmm. a bit untypical if you see. 30,000 just. 30,000. Changes, just. you know, every traditional well, history narrative. You can, we can speak about the Stonehenge or Silverly Hills of the United Kingdom. Uh -huh. There's a ability that those megalithic structures have been also built in the time when the pyramids were originally mm -hmm. constructed. The stone spheres of Costa Rica and Mexico, mm -hmm. some of them in Bosnia, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. the Virgin Islands. I think Shit, I forgot that there were stone spheres here. I want to see. Th Where are they? Uh, in Zavidovci. This is the town uh, from Zenica, and it's across one and a half, one and a half hour by a highway road. It's called. It's spelled S Z A V I D O V I C. I'm gonna have you type that into my phone. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So it, it is a little bit complicated. It's called Zavidovci. There's a, there's a part of these stone spheres, but we don't have a relation, only association to them. Some of the people who live there brought the guests. You can tip in your cell phone. It's, okay. it's nice. It's bright. It's one and a half hour away from here. My suggestion is to go through the tunnel before yeah. four o'clock and then cool. we can enter with the guy. Dr. Sam is already in the tunnel. What's your name? Amar. Cool. Naomi. Pleasure. Thank Thanks Thank for you. your time. It was Your great. name? 
Yeah, I'm, I'm Lucas. Lucas and Naomi. Yeah. <laughs> Great, thanks for having us. And yeah, I think we should uh, maybe look to the Just one question before I go. Why did you consider Northern Dakota to be a, uh, uh, what, what did you say? Boring, uh, boring state. state. Oh, they're just mostly farmers. There's not a lot that goes on there. We have a population of 700,000 people, and we're like three times the size of Belgium. <laughs> like it takes like 15 minutes to drive to your neighbor's house <laughs> 15 minutes because i had people from south carolina i got people from california coming here because like the coastal places are very different than like the yeah, well, know, like the midwest every state, every state in united every state in the u.s is different by the uh, by the uh, relief or mm -hmm. a natural nature escapes that's right mm -hmm. i had a i had a woman from south carolina she said this was the accent i heard because this was from texas one of thought it was a Western world, a wild Western world. <laughs> she said, we care a lot about the people when we go come to the foreign countries like that because we uh, never tried, never traveled along the way. So I found out that there's some guy with a hat started as a pyramid up there and we care for the rest of the world. <laughs> sure enough, I said, okay. That's a great, that's a great accent. Well, now listen here, Bob. Back, listen uh, here, Bob. But that's not a bad accent. This television from all of your broadcasts. This is how. Oh my God! Oh my God! All of the, all of the accent. I don't. Uh, the, the Scottish is. It's a tough know, one. It's a. Hi, pyramid. Okay, so we are taking a super offshoot. They totally built their own house. I hope they don't mind. It says toilet, like it's a tourist attraction or something. Look at the, the bar tables. I see the sphere though. Okay, I almost forgot about the fucking Bosnian spheres. And this is one of the main ones. Oh my God. I, like I almost left Bosnia without Seeing this, I almost fucking forgot. Wow. <laughs> wow. And look at this lovely bridge with this lovely water. Oh my God. <laughs> There's a few of these too. Yeah. So yeah, made by a natural formation, right? Yeah. Agree. Agree. Wow. It's not even completely dug out. Like there's still trees growing out above it. They dug it out just enough. Wow. I think I read that they said it was four feet in diameter. So this is bigger than I thought. Yeah. Four feet, right? Well, there's a few of them, so this could just be one of them. Right. This is definitely like eight feet. Let's get down here. Oh, I have to touch it. Oh, hey there, big sphere. Wow. Just a babbling brook. <laughs> so. I've seen everything I wanted to see in Bosnia. I got to one of the spheres. I'm so fucking happy. I saw a pyramid today. I saw a sphere. Touch, touch. <laughs> this is fucking fantastic. Wow, just wow. I am, I've completed my Bosnian trip. <laughs> Are you satisfied? Am I satisfied? Yeah. Absolutely. Look at the size of this thing. <laughs> Big and it's round and it's oh my god, I'm so happy. Bosnia, we're done. We are on our way to Serbia now. Bye. <laughs> this is the road that Google Maps has brought us to. 
and, and we're not on our way to another sphere. We're on off to Serbia. Long, long drive, four hour drive. At one point we were on a highway and now we're avoiding dogs on roads like this. Cause dogs love to hang out in roads here and bark at you when you drive past. And chase your car. And chase your car. And people just hang out on roads with, and dogs seem to love it. And this is the route. This is like, this is nuts. That this is the way it's brought us, but we're, we're rolling with it. <laughs> but this is fucking nuts. <laughs> like there's no way that someone's where we were and says, oh, I, I want to go to Serbia. So it's gone, okay, this is the way. It's the most, the most dirt road we've been on. And that's even when we were going off into the sticks to find pyramids and rocks. Absolutely nuts. <laughs> okay, I don't know. We'll see if we get out of this. I'll, we'll do an update just to see, you know, if we come out of this and it doesn't just end, but we get to a, I don't know. I don't know what the hell we're gonna find to, to be honest. <laughs> and we're out. So we drove about like five kilometers on road progressively, actually much further than five, getting worse, like dirt road, but that, that's how it, it got worse and worse <laughs> until we came out here. And this looks exactly like the road we were on before. So what, I don't, it does, how? It doesn't make sense. There's no their side. Yeah, it's true. But the dogs, they don't give a fuck, man. Yeah. And it's not that I'm just saying they walk across the roads. They chill out on the road. Yeah. You just catch them, just, just relaxing. And they're like, oh, car's coming. Like, yeah, you have to like 